It's weekend here and we're coming to Zhuhai. This is the Zhuhai Aerospace Land. It's kind of like a museum. It's all indoor. And here we're going to enjoy some attractions that are all related to the aerospace industry here in China. Zhuhai Aerospace Land is a cool space theme park in Zhuhai, Guangdong Province. It's like a mix between a science center and an amusement park that showcases China's achievements in aerospace. They have some uh, showrooms and some attractions using virtual reality and some like models inside this big space. I think it's going to be very fun. I think Jay's going to enjoy that a lot. From Shenzhen, Guangzhou or Hong Kong, it takes around an hour and a half to reach this place and just 20 minutes if you are in Macau. Uh, the cool thing is we just I just drove like uh, one hour and a half from home and we're already here in this city. It's a neighbor city that is part of the Greater Bay Area. It's right next to Macau. The park is all about showcasing China's aerospace achievements. So you will find things like full-size models of rockets, satellites, space stations, and even some interactive simulators. We're coming to play in Zhuhai. It's meant to be both fun and educational kind of a mix between a science museum and a theme park. If you're into space stuff or have kids who are, it can be a cool place to spend a few hours. So also in this place you have these kind of attractions for kids, also grown-ups, to try like a VR headset. With the movements you kind of enjoy in uh, very realistic movements the whole ride because you have the VR set like Jay has right now. It's been here. You can also see on the screen. Some of the coolest and most fun parts are the virtual reality experiences. Some make you feel like you're floating outside a space station riding a motorcycle. You can look around in 360 degrees and see the planets below you. Next try we're gonna get in these kind of little platforms. It looks like we're going on an exploration around Mars. There is also a Mars rover simulator where you can take control of a virtual Mars rover. You will navigate through a Martian landscape maneuvering around rocks and craters and get a feel for what it's like to operate a rover on the red planet. And then we're coming already to play this one. It's quite fun because the movements match the things you're seeing on the screen. Jay is behind the wheel. He is conducting the whole expedition on Mars. We're not succeeding that much, but he's having fun, which is the most important part. There is also a very cool VR movie theater experience, where everyone wears VR headsets and watches the same movie simultaneously. We're coming now to a kind of like a VR headset theater uh, with a lot of seats. Everyone has a VR headset and we're gonna watch the movie. What sets it apart is the motion-enabled seats that tilt, rotate and vibrate in sync with the film's action. This combination of visual and physical effects creates a realistic sensation of being part of the space journey. One of the standout attractions is the C919 flight simulator, offering visitors a chance to experience piloting China's domestically developed commercial airliner. Four or five flight simulators you can actually try and feel and see how a real airplane looks like. That's exactly how a C919 919 aircraft looks like inside. We have a flight simulator as well here for the C919. This is a model made in China. We're gonna give it a try today. Jay and I were going to pilot this aircraft. In these simulators, you step into a realistic cockpit setup that mirrors the actual controls and instruments of a C919 aircraft. The experience is designed to provide an immersive feel of flying from takeoff to landing. 
Chuhai Aerospace Land features an exciting national defense exhibition hall that offers a hands-on glimpse into China's military technology. We're coming to another hall of this place where you can see a lot of tanks and you can also see the military capabilities of China. They are actually displaying all the tanks, ships, and also let the kids learn about it. And we're going to play another game here. There are more games and places. After spending the whole day at the space theme exhibition, where Jay had an amazing time, we checked into a hotel with outer space themed rooms for kids to spend the night. So this is going to be our room for the weekend. It's a themed room with a astronaut. And Jay is there with his friend. They're going to play with a little tent. Oh, it looks so cool. Wow, Bobby, qué lindo. Mija, ¿dónde se le cae Wow, so cool. The fun didn't stop the next day. After a good night's sleep in our space theme room, we kicked off the morning with some splash time at the hotel's swimming pool. The sun was out and Jay had a blast jumping in and out. Whether it's very, very warm, uh, we still can enjoy the swimming pool, enjoy this wonderful weather. And this is Jay, este es Jay, el niño que más sabe nadar en toda China. Ya él aprendió a nadar. He already learned how to swim and he's a great, great swimmer. And he can sing. Swimming, swimming in the swimming pool. When days are hot, when days are cold, in the swimming pool. Swimming, swimming in the swimming pool. When days are hot, when days are cold, in the swimming pool. After all the pool fun, we went for lunch. We are coming to have lunch in one of our favorite restaurants. It's called Shibei. They have food from the north, northwest, northeast too, and from the north of China. And it's really good. They have some things they like a lot. It's called Yarosha. They have other kind of food that I like also a lot. So they have this 25 minutes sand clock. If before this 25 minutes finish, they haven't brought all the food, you don't need to pay for that. It's going to be for free. That's the policy of every Tibet restaurant here in China. The hotel we stayed at was a paradise for kids. It even had a huge playground packed with attractions and games that could easily keep little ones entertained all day long. From climbing structures and slides to interactive games and creative play zones, there was always something next to explore. Jay had an amazing time, completely in his element, running from one activity to the next like it was his own personal adventure park. We're coming now to the ultimate kids' dream. This is a huge playground of two floors, but it has so many attractions that I think you can spend the whole day here. You have a little machine to play with, you have basketball games, you have like different levels of playgrounds, restaurant, massage chairs for parents in case they're too tired and they just want to relax. I think this place, Jay is going to have a great, great time. After having fun at the playground, we headed a bit farther out of the city, closer to the countryside, to immerse in nature and enjoy a delicious locally made dinner. We also came to the countryside to try some fresh fruits. They're produced in this very field. Mm. Oh. So sweet. You know, actually this uh, is called papaya. It's not that popular here in China. I'm so glad I found it here. Zhuhai is a hidden gem for family travel, especially if your kids love space, planes, or just non-stop fun. With places like Aerospace Land or family-friendly hotels full of themed rooms, pools, and play areas, it's a perfect mix of education and entertainment. We left with tired feet, 
full hearts and memories that still makes us smile. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss our next family adventure.